the rising of the sun until it's setting. The Lord's name is to be praised. Very warm welcome to worship from St Mary's here in Beverly. It is wonderful to be able to gather with you in prayer and in reflection in your home and in this place. We are delighted that Joe will be sharing God's words with us. But for now, we turn to praise. Lord of light and salvation, the stronghold of our lives, we come together to worship you. You shine in the darkness and give us hope. We walk towards you today, knowing that your light can never be extinguished. You call us to welcome friends and strangers until the whole world has turned and worships you. Praise and glory be to your holy name. Amen. And so we come to our words of confession. Lord God, there are those moments when we take time to reflect, to examine, to consider who we are before you. And we recognise our weakness and our frailty. Our lack of courage and of trust. As you invite us to meet with you today, may we open our hearts to the gift of forgiveness that you offer through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. A reading taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 10 to 18. A church divided over leaders. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. My brothers and sisters, some from Chloe's household, have informed me that there are quarrels among you. What I mean is this, one of you says, I follow Paul, another, I follow Apollos, another, I follow Cephas, still another, I follow Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Were you baptised in the name of Paul? I thank God that I did not baptise any of you except Crispus and Gaius. So no one can say that you were baptised in my name. Yes, I also baptised the household of Stephanus. Beyond that, I don't remember if I baptised anyone else. For Christ did not send me to baptise, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom and eloquence, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. pray. Lord, give us the grace to follow your word, discern it and take it to heart. Amen. So we see in Matthew, Jesus calls the first disciples. Now they are fishermen and he is calling them to be fishers of men. But what does that mean to us? In some ways, the first disciples had it a bit easy in that they had a physical presence. But they also had it really hard in that they were the first. There were no guidelines. And they did follow blindly. We have hindsight. We have the stories in the Bible. We already have our faith. 
So what does God call us to? He calls us to many things, but in the first instance, he calls us to be true believers and honest and open and forthright in how we follow Jesus, what it means to us and what joy it brings to our lives. Now that takes many forms. Some are called to ordination, readership, pastoral assistant, wardens, but for a lot, it is for us to be honest, honest with ourselves and with the people around us, those we know and those that we meet accidentally. Honest in the conversations we have, honest in our approach to others, in the care that we give them, the kindness, the love, the generosity, and this could just be our time, making ourselves open, and it could be volunteer work of many, many forms. None of us know what we're called to until we're called. And that's the important thing, is waiting and listening and praying and keeping ourselves open to hear the call and hold our hands up and say, yes, I'm ready to follow. And that takes courage. Let us pray. Lord God, always keep us watchful and mindful. Watchful for your work, your call, and mindful of our treatment of others. How we are with others reflects. May we always reflect your love and light. Amen.
Heavenly Father, thank you that you give us the chance to turn away from selfishness and to be a part of your kingdom now and in eternity. Help us not to get distracted by the temporary things of the world, but instead help us by your Holy Spirit to seek your face and to desire your ways. Lord, give us hearts of repentance and open our eyes to see your kingdom is near. We pray for unity in the church where there are barriers. Pour upon us your wisdom and fill us with an overflowing love for those who are lost. Lord, give us hearts of repentance and open our eyes to see your kingdom is near. We pray for unity in the world where there is great division and hostility. Pour in your presence and bring hope of a better future. Lord, give us hearts of repentance and open your eyes to see your kingdom is near. We pray for unity in homes and in families where there is brokenness and misunderstanding. Pour in your healing and bring a new perspective. Lord, give us hearts of repentance and open our eyes to see your kingdom is near. We pray for our friends and our loved ones who are ill or in distress. Help us to support them with your love and tenderness and bring them an awareness of your presence in the midst of their suffering. Lord, give us hearts of repentance and open our eyes to see your kingdom is near. Loving God, we give you thanks and praise that as you call us to turn and follow you on the adventures that takes our whole life. You are eager to walk with us and talk with us and to shine your light into our hearts. We offer our prayers in the name of our precious Saviour. Amen. And so we come to our news and notices. There's so much going on. I really do urge you to have a look at the website or at the notice sheet. We are delighted that Bishop Eleanor will be coming to offer confirmations on the 23rd of April and are preparing accordingly. So if you're interested, either as a young person or an adult in getting confirmed, please do get in touch with us. Also, we'll be welcoming Riding Lights Theatre Company to offer their production, which explores the interaction between faith and artificial intelligence, science and technology. Really, really fascinating evening, so do look out for that as well. Men Meet have all sorts of activities planned and are looking forward to gathering. And of course, it's Women's Fellowship as well this week. If you'd like to take part in our Lent groups, we're exploring the film Casablanca and the themes that come out of that and what the Bible says about them. Please do let us know as well. And so may the Lord who calls you, who invites you, who welcomes you, bless you and keep you this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>